So no more questions, so we move to the next presentation. Characterization of microphysical, microphysical of icing using Shuva X-band radar and TMI and Mazda's brightness temperature. That will be presented by Audrey Martini. So I w I'm going to present uh, a study uh, using uh, radar data and uh, brightness temperature to characterize the new crop. <laughs> Thank you. To characterize the microphysics of ice. Uh, the aim is uh, to bring out the correlation between uh, TB, uh, ice content, and uh, particle type, heat type. My presentation uh, is about uh, the analysis of the PID uh, provided from the radar and compare them with the brightness temperature from uh, the satellite to see if uh, we can characterize the correlation between um, ice species and the uh, scattering effect. So we have uh, two field campaigns uh, in uh, Africa and the uh, Indian Ocean uh, were specifically uh, designed to try to address this uh, microphysics question. <coughs> Uh, come up uh, with uh, the simplified but uh, robust uh, parametrization to, that would be suitable uh, for the radiative transfer model simulation. Sorry. Uh, during uh, during this two campaign. We are deployed uh, an uh, airborne uh, radar, and uh, we are collecting the uh, in situ uh, data to uh, to characterize uh, the to characterize uh, with uh, limited and. But precise uh, microphysics of ice. And uh, from uh, this radar data, we can uh, build a statistic of ice type distribution, Shuva uh, Valley do Paraiba. Here we have two repre representations of uh, simulated brightness temperature over a convective system in Africa. On the left hand side, uh, we can see a uh, representation uh, with an uh, ice parameterization where particle density uh, depends on the diameter. And on the right hand side, we have uh, an uh, ice parameterization where particle density depends on the type or water. And uh, we, when we compare uh, to the simulation with the real TMI uh, TB, we can see that the convective values yes. uh, are always underestimated, meaning a lack of scattering. And uh, for the spectrum path, the truth is never of the two parameterization presented here. No brain is a Bayesian brain retrieval algorithm included, including neural network. Brain needs uh, a retrieval database to provide a uh, brain write. This database is uh, built from a TV vector and uh, uh, associated the brain write. Uh, to build this database, we use uh, pair water content profile 
Spin de Wadati de Transfer Model, to simulate the CD. And the microphysical parameterization is required to uh, the radiative transfer model. So, uh, from the field contain, we adjust uh, the microphysical parameter until the observation and the, um, and the simulation, uh, until the comparison sorry, between the simulation and the observation is satisfactory. So here we used a ground bus polarimetry uh, data to compute the PID in uh, radar gate. And uh, we used uh, a TMI uh, CD to count the each spaces uh, in uh, the pixel to obtain his representation between uh, two altitudes. And the colors in the circle represent the proportion of each PID within the pixel. Then we have a uh, representation of the pH distribution as a function of the CD and the integrated ice content. This integrated ice content is uh, obtained from the reflectivity of the radar. And uh, here, I present uh, an example of a convectively uh, active case in the Indian Ocean on the 23rd of November 2011 for a layer uh, between uh, 5 to 10 kilometers of altitude. Here we have three of the polarimetric parameters. Uh, and uh, for example, we can see the uh, pristine ice here is associated with uh, higher OHV, medium ZDR, and uh, lower stability. No, we can see here, uh, we have a three mainly uh, family of uh, species uh, in uh, this uh, layer. We have uh, ice and uh, snow and gopon. And uh, if I highlight uh, the pixel where they are gopon, we can see as uh, expected uh, a uh, correlation between the area of lower KB and the area with higher integrated ice content. However, uh, when I plot uh, the global distribution as a function of the CD and the uh, integrated high content, uh, we are uh, disappointing results. Now, when we adjust uh, the layer to have uh, a, a maximized presence of the grouper, Donc, we have an uh, increase of grouper and uh, an uh, increase of ice content. And uh, we can see we have a slightly better correlation. Here I present uh, an uh, example of a convective uh, Shuba case on the 17th January uh, 2012. We can see on the left hand side uh, a TB representation at uh, 85 gigahertz. We can see here the convective cell surrounded uh, by what seems uh, like the stratiform path. Here, in the middle, we have a uh, reflectivity PR representation. Uh, in a horizontal cross-section at uh, two kilometers of altitude, uh, reflectivity of the Shuva is bound. And uh, we can see, probably because of the rain over the radar, there is a lot of attenuation 
runs is done. So we can see uh, here, if we compare the reflectivity with the brightness temperature, we have uh, a gap between the maximum of uh, the reflectivity and the lowest of the brightness temperature. And uh, it's, the, it's due to perhaps uh, either a parallax problem or the dynamic of the convective system. And in conclusion, we, we have seen that the correlation between uh, ice species from the polarimetric radar and the PBs do exist, but uh, with a lot of noise. The grottal presence uh, seems correlated to the more convective region and the uh, colder PBs, but the correlation seems very conducive to the layer definition. And some ge geometric problems may still persist, and the uh, species distribution is sensitive to the radar calibration. Uh, we have to increase the number of cases to consolidate statistics, and we might need to rework the species definition based on local conditions, and look at uh, the regional dependency using over survival companies. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Audrey. Um, question? Mm -hmm. Or? Um, no. And you were? Have you seen? But it's a very